I always hear the stories about the guys who were born in a tobacco field in Nicaragua, and the tobacco farmer just happened to find them wrapped up in tobacco leaves. But my story is different. It isn't like one of the traditional ones, but it's my story. When I was a kid, I would pretend to smoke using a Boss Hog cigar. I knew I was fascinated with cigars, and I knew it would be something I would do. In my early 20s, I was living out west, and while I was sitting around with some friends enjoying a Monte Cristo tubo, it was unlike any machine-made drugstore stick I'd been smoking. It was the first premium cigar I had ever had, and immediately, I decided I was going to go back home and get into the cigar business some way, somehow. I started selling cigars in Halifax, Canada, from a kiosk humidor that I had built. And I began the 13-hour shift seven days a week. It was a lot of fun, but a little more work and a little less glamorous than the pictures of the cigar aficionados just lounging around in fancy smoking jackets. After a few ups and downs, in-betweens, and help from some great friends, I had found home base in Halifax and built my own cigar boutique, Smoke on the Water. Since 2003, many of the same people still stop by and share laughs and cigars in that same lounge. From that great opportunity, I gained more knowledge and got to rub shoulders with a lot of great cigar distributors and manufacturers at trade shows and even in the shop. They helped me learn about the cigar manufacturing business, but also encouraged me to fulfill my desire to create my own cigar line. This was going to be very complicated and expensive. And if I was aiming for success, it would be a never-ending process with hard work and would mean starting from ground level again. So knowing this, I had no choice but to go all out. I began spending a lot of time in Miami and got things started. I worked with many great people and for a second time in my life I had found home when I was introduced to a man named Guillermo in a small, organized and well-run cigar factory in Miami. He had some great cigars and we quickly became friends and decided to blend and develop the Stulac line. This is what I always dreamed about. We are very proud and pleased at the progress we have made together in such a short time and we will continue our journey for many years to come, I'm sure. People have been asking me, hey Paul, what's next? Well, I'm gonna keep doing what I'm doing, a no-nonsense approach that respects tradition while stepping outside of the box when needed in order to take this line to the next level. The Paul Stulak line of cigars is distributed throughout the U.S. and is now in several countries around the world. I get messages from people every day saying that they love the cigars and the experience that comes with them. The stories they share and the friends that I make through this mutual love of the finer things makes all the hard work seem easy. So yes, as the ads have stated, I may not have the tales of tobacco fields or the 100 years of traditions, but that's what makes us different, and that's what we're proud of.